you know the refractive index of any medium is greater than 1. Why? Because in the previous video you know that the refractive index is actually C over B. And why it's greater than 1? As because this refractive index is that the velocity of light in vacuum over the velocity of light in any medium. So if you see that the vacuum, in vacuum, the light travels in 2.99 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second speed, which is the maximum. But when we consider in any medium, any medium, which is simply less than, the velocity is less than this value. Think about water. What is the velocity of light in water? which is 2.2610 over 8 meter per second. So in my previous video, I explained that this, this scenario, what's going on, that if you forget 10 to the power 8, then think about 2.99 over 2.26. So if, if I, I remove that 10 to the power 8 part, 10 to the power 8 part, now you see that this is 2.99 over 2.26, which is 1.33, nearly. So that is definitely greater than 1. This happens in case of absolute refractive index. So what is refractive index? Refractive index is a quantity of two different media where this is the ratio of the velocity of light on that different medium. So you think here what's going on? Here actually light is falling in an inclined position if it is, think about if it is uh, water and this is air. And think about here this is air and water. What will be happening here? We know that air comparatively rarer medium than water. So water is the denser medium. So we can say this is denser medium and air is the rarer medium. So when light is coming, this is denser, denser and this is rarer. This is very important. When light is coming or falling in inclined positions from the denser to rarer, then what is going on? The light will traverse away from the normal, away from the normal. And if it is falling in inclined positions from the rarer to denser, then the, 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 the motions or the directions of motion will change to the normal. So now, the basic is, you see, there is an angle and also there is an angle has been created. So this angle is known as incident angle and this angle is known as refractive angle. So the, the concept of refractive index depends on two things. That is, we know the refractive index can be two types. That is absolute absolute refractive index which is this one i mean that is the velocity of light in vacuum with respect to another medium but when it is relative when it is relative refractive index that quantity can be less than one that can quantity can be less than one how you see i have given some examples which is also given in the books this refractive index is greater than one but this one is less than one why because from the second law of law of refraction you know that n1 sine theta 1 is actually equal to n2 sine theta 2 what does it mean think about it this theta 1 and theta 2 is the angle that has been created when light was falling in inclined positions from one medium to another medium. Now you think, 
this angle is greater than this angle completely why because this is real medium to denser medium so what is the concept is that if it is suppose 45 degree this is definitely less than 45 degree suppose this is 32 degree just just imagine so what is the relative refractive index of air with respect to water so if i say the refractive index of air with respect with respect to water then we say air to water so that means the light is falling from air to water so we say air to water is sine theta 1 over sine theta 2 this is simply equal to eta or I mean na or nw that means the refractive index of air divided by refractive index of water which is also similar because sine theta 1 by theta 2 now you see what was the theta 1 that is sine 45 degree and this is 32 degree so sine 32 degree now you think what is the value of this if I just use the scientific calculator then you could have that sine 45 divided by sine 32 that is 1.33 so this is 1.33 how it is happening because you see when you think about the value of sine it is very interesting it is really really interesting how I'm just explaining it so I hope you just keep in mind that what I have explained think about the sine the interesting part of sine you know what is the value of sine 0 degree sine 0 degree and think about till sine 90 degree so the value of sine 0 degree and sine 90 degree you know what this is 0 to 1 and there is infinite number between 0 to 1 it can be 0 0.11, it can be 0 0.12, it can be 0 0.22, it can be 0 0.23, 0 0.04, lots of numbers. But think simply, if it is 0 degree, think about sine 30 degree. Think about sine 45 degree. The value of sine 30 degree is 0 0.5. And value of sine 45 degree nearly 1 by root 2. I don't know the value of 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 which is actually 0 0.707. So 0 0.70. Think about this 4, four data. This is 0. Greater than 0 0.5. Greater than 0 0.7. Greater than 0 1. So whenever you go towards the bigger angle the magnitude of sine that angle will be increasing so if you divide somehow sine 32 degree suppose divided by sine 31 degree the value would be greater than 1 it's definitely would be greater than 1 because 32 is greater than 31 that means if you divide 0 0.114 divided by 0 0.113 this value would be always greater than 1 similarly so see if I, if I use my calculator then think about it sine 32 divided by sine 31 this is 1.02 so you'll have the interesting concept this is 1.02 that means whenever you think that light is falling from the rarer to denser medium that means this is the theta 1 and this is theta 2 so if you divide sine theta 1 by sine theta 2 if it is less than this we can simply say the refractive index the relative refractive index is greater than 1 
what does it mean if I say the relative refractive index is greater than 1 it says that light was falling light was falling from the rarer to denser medium I mean what does it mean actually if it is greater than 1 it is rarer and it is denser so why it is happening I mean the refractive index if this is the theta 1 this is theta 2 so if you divide sine 45 by sine uh, 32 this is this will be definitely greater so what is going on I mean in case of refractive index so when it would be less than 0 I and mean less than 1 it would be less than 1 in this case here less than 1 you see this is the denser medium this is the rarer medium so when light is falling inclined positions from the denser to rarer it's away from the normal so this angle or this angle we can see this angle is greater than 1 I mean greater than I so think about it if it is 23 degree it must be like more than 23 think about 32 degree so now the refractive index of water with respect to air refractive index of water with respect to air that is sine theta 1 by sine theta 2 so simply we can say that sine theta 1 is 23 degree and this is sine 32 degree so we simply see that this 23 degree is less than 32 degree that means the value of sine 23 is less than sine 32 hence we are dividing the smaller number by the bigger number the value must be less than 1 if you do it you will have 0 point something so sine 23 so if you say sine 23 divided by sine 32 so it must be 0 0.68 okay this is 0 0.68 0 0.68 is less than 1 so why it is less than 1 because this angle was less than this angle why because it is the denser medium this is it is the it is uh, 23 degree it is the denser medium and it is the rarer medium because angle will be smaller in the denser medium and angle will be bigger in rarer medium okay so simply i hope you understand that this is going on so if you see that the dense the, this is diamond and this is glass this is diamond this is glass so why it is greater than one because the angle uh, would be here is is greater than that so that is why a, of course whenever we study about the refractive index we need to know two important things that is absolute and relative in case of absolute relative index or we can say that uh, the absolute relative index and relative relative index uh, refractive index that is always greater than one or this can be this can be greater than one and also less than one so it can be greater than one or can be less than one so whenever we got the value of less than one we think that the velocity this is the absolute why because it is only the density i mean the velocity of light is l greater but here it would be always less so i hope you understand the the concept of a refractive index and why in case of relative refractive index it can be less than one or it can be greater than one depends that the refractive index of what with respect to what so if it is diamond and if it is glass or if it is uh, water and diamond think about water and diamond so if it is diamond and if it is water so as as the diamond from the diamond water is there so this is rare with respect to denser so it would be like this so now you see the angle of it is definitely greater than so if you divide the smaller angle divided by the greater angle then 
then definitely it will be less than 1. So the refractive index of water, refractive index of water with respect to diamond is less than 1. So now if you see, if you see that this one, this one, that means this is water, this is diamond. So I know that is 0 0.55. So we can see that 0 0.55 is actually sine theta 1 by sine theta 2. That means this is theta 1, this is theta 2. So I am saying that the refractive index of water with respect to diamond is 0 0.55. That means sine theta 1, if the sine theta 1 is 45 degree, suppose this is 30 degree, then what is the value of theta 2? If this is the question, now think about it, 0 0.55. So think about this is sine 30 degree and what about sine theta 2 we need to find it out. So think about sine theta 2 is actually sine 30. We know the value of sine 30 is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.55. So again if we divide 0 0.5 by 0 0.55 the value will be less than 0, less than 1. So 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.55 which is 0 0.909 so now you know that sine theta 2 is 0 0.909 now you think the value of theta 2 the value of theta 2 would be the value of theta 2 would be theta 2 would be sine inverse sine inverse this value 0. 909. So how would you do it? We will use in calculator shift sign. So if you see shift sign, sign inverse 0 0.99, sorry, 909, which is 65.36 degree. So 65.36 degree. So think about it. If 0 0.55, okay, so we got it what? The the refractive index of water with respect to refractive index of di diamond then when light will falls into 30 degree 30 degree then when the refractive angle will create it will be 65.3060 okay and we got this angle from the refractive index so it's very simple I'm just giving you a basic example of the refractive index because when I explain the mathematical problem solving techniques in this chapter, I shall upload more critical and uh, doable mathematics in, in Lex Plus. So I hope you understand the concept. I'm explaining it to make your concept clear. If you have any recommendation and feedback, please put it in the comment sections. I'll definitely check it out. Take care. See you on the next class. Bye.